Okay, so this is kind of the, but wait, if you order now, you get <laughs> an addition and no extra charge. Tim Pierce's pedal board, <laughs> which I purposely wanted to show you to dispel myths that they've all got to be awesome, insane boutique pedals. And I've been to many sessions with Tim, and this is the, now you have the other Cadillac pedal boards, but I've seen him use this more than anything. So yeah, here we, we are dispelling myths right here, right now. And I can say I've been to the sessions and seen it. You've heard it in action. In yes. action, and yeah. it's amazing. So don't need more than this. We're just gonna show you what you can pick up at your local guitar center. And with your lessons, maybe one day you too can be Tim Pierce. <laughs> you certainly can. And more. All right, so let's check it out. Better than me. I doubt that. <laughs> Not that you guys aren't good. You're amazing. All right, so checking out the pedal board, you know. Yeah, there's a boutique one here, there. But from what I've seen you use, it's pretty. And, and, and what I'd like to say, too, is watching you do a bunch of sessions, not a whole lot of, I mean, you just, you're pretty basic. Uh, yeah, I like the sound of the amp and maybe one pedal, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you get incredible results with a very uh, humble pedal board. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I'll go through it if you want. Yeah, please do. Okay, so we'll come back to the volume pedal, but the input from the guitar, the cable, is going into this uh, Vox Wawa pedal. Don't use it that often, but always like to have one hooked up. Even if you don't use a wah for the standard, it's nice for soloing just to get extra expression out of a note. Just a little bit of wah can make notes more expressive when you're soloing. Probably the thing I use most on this pedal board is this old ODR1 Nobles, very natural sounding overdrive. They've reissued it, it sounds really good. My signature Tim Pierce pedal is a kind of a cousin to this. I like pedals that are natural sounding. I have fuzz pedals in a bag and distortion pedals, but I don't have them on the board because I don't use them that often. I like the pedals that just hit the front end of the amp and kind of explode the front end of the amp. So the main thing I use on this board is this natural sounding you know, overdrive. And I might just turn it down a little, I might turn it up. It's very open sounding. And the thing a lot of people don't realize is you can take two of these gain pedals and use them in tandem. So I'm gonna just step on the RC booster. It makes it thicker, it doesn't hurt. Now I stepped on a third pedal, and arguably it might have started to compress and collapse a little bit, but maybe not. Yeah, I would say two at a time in this particular situation. Now I just have the red snapper going into the, the nobles. Super hard on a great one too. If you notice, they all sound natural. None of these are distortion pedals. They're all kind of gain, boost, natural sounding pedals. Now, another here's a good secret though. This thing can sound just like one of those. This is essentially the same thing. I mean, that's pretty darn good. So right now, the only the delay is on, which I can turn off. That's another inexpensive thing, but. Which is insane, because you can get that at Guitar Center or wherever. For yeah, nothing. eBay, wherever, yeah. And so, yes. how many times I've seen you use this delay is ridiculous. It's kind of one of my favorites. George Tripps designed this. He's the uh, the way huge guy. The same guy that designed this, designed this for line six. And it's just really warm and analog sounding. You can set it so this delay trail is really dark, a little modulation. You hear how dark it sounds? distortion in front of it. Yeah. 
I really love it. Now if you want to go more high tech, something like this. <laughs> but the one I use most is the super inexpensive Line 6 Echo Park. And then on this particular board, the only modulation source I have is the M5. So let's see what's up right now. A vibrato. I see these M5s on a lot of Nashville like yeah, yeah, studio yeah. guitars pedal boards. It's really a really good workhorse. Nice reverb. And if somebody asks for a phaser or a flanger, it's there for you. Excellent Leslie simulator. Certainly not inexpensive, I would say, but boy, it's really... couple more things to look at. Tremolo could be any tremolo. That's a good one. This has the Keeley mod on it, which just gives you a volume so that, you know how tremolo pedals often, your signal will dip yeah. a little. This takes care of that. I think in 2015, though, they've solved that problem with a lot of tremolos. So. Very good. But Boss pedals are always, you know, it's a great brand. Keeley compressor over here. Use that more for clean stuff. Great for fattening up a clean sound. Grabbing more volume. There it is. Nice, nice sustain. And then the last thing. I use a volume pedal all the time because it's great for swells. But I also use it to hide noise. If I get up a really wacky sound over here, super noisy, I can hide it with the volume pedal. And then the trails happen after it, so I, I use a volume pedal all the time. I just have it patched in so that the delay trails are after it. That's the key with the volume pedal. I think you want your delays to cascade afterwards. But most of the sounds I seek are, are very, very uh, effect free. I, you know, I like really straight sounds. Sweet. Well, thank you. Welcome. Awesome. <laughs>